Everyone hear me well? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, my name is Braden Michelin. Uh, like, I, like she said, uh, Amy Dawes is here in the front. Uh, she's my co founder. Uh, and we are the Bake Apple. Uh, so, the Bake Apple Company is a hydroponic Bake Apple farm. Uh, so, I'm just going to give a little background information on the berry itself. It's more commonly known as the cloud berry. Uh, it is an endangered species across Europe and Asia. Um, currently, there is no global cultivation worldwide of this plant. Um, that means that the only possible way that you can obtain the baked apple uh, is the natural occurring uh, plant. Right now, there's, they're growing within about a one month window uh, within the summertime. So that means that there's 11 month period of time that you have no access to the baked apples globally. So today, uh, we are in the research and development stages. We're trying to find the optimal growing environment for large scale production. Again, there's an 11 month window we'd like to close. Uh, we think that, that's, that there's a great local demand because of the delicacy nature um, of the berry. We think that uh, we can become the world's greatest source and the only source right now uh, of baked apple. We think that the restaurants, grocery stores, uh, processing plants, uh, drinks, th these types of businesses can greatly benefit uh, from another berry source Right there. We think that with the local demand, we can start there, but there's a great demand within the superfood market for a berry that actually has great nutritional value. It is the only fruit that is non aquatic that contains both omega 3 and 6 fatty acids in a significant amount. It has four times the amount of vitamin C than per gram than an orange. Okay, so there's great nutritional value. There's a great local demand. So that we see a great potential within this berry. As you can see, uh, I put in some numbers here of some other Canadian markets and berries. We think that we're entering a market uh, where the consumer is not gonna be choosing a strawberry or blueberry, who's gonna make the conscious decision to choose the baked apple instead. As you can see as well, I've had a map of the regions where it's growing. Uh, like I said before, the, as the endangered species across Europe and Asia, um, it is actually the most endangered species in multiple parts of Europe. Um, and because of that, the plant cannot be cultivated. It has to be cultivated in an area where there is a healthy and rich population within the wild for testing. Testing requires you to kill a lot of plants. You need to stress test them and you need to uproot them from the environment. It takes seven years to grow from seed. So you need to uproot them and it needs to be taken from the bodies themselves. So the only possible place to start this would be in here in North America. So like I said, uh, my name is Braden Michelin. I'm here with Amy Dot. Uh, I'm a process engineering student. Um, I am currently operating out of the Bruno Center here today, uh, just downstairs. Um, and all we ask today is you just check us out, check out our website. Please follow us on social media. Thanks so much. Pass it over to our judges. <laughs> um, very informative, um, great presentation. I was just wondering when you said it um, um, endangered, is there any risk, do you think? I know you wouldn't go for hydroponic growing, but is there any risk, do you think, of it becoming an endangered fishery and not being able to? Yeah, so right now they're having a, they're growing within the period of two months. So in the actual natural environment, and with a two month growth period, if we can bring them inside and grow them within a 12 month growth period, uh, we can actually provide the environment with the baby animals. So we can resupply the endangered species to the natural environment. I think it's uh, fascinating. Yeah, so right now, I think that, uh, so I'm gonna go back to this, this slide here. Uh, so the blueberry market's a great market to bring up because half of the blueberries that come out of Canada are growing from the wild. So these are naturally occurring blueberries. So we think that we can start the same way. Go ahead and pick the berries naturally, uh, get traction that way, get a little bit of revenue, uh, continue to grow them and, and grow naturally. Uh, this is really cool. 
Yeah, so, so a big market that we're going to tap into is actually the vegan market. Uh, because of the berry contains a high amount of iron, uh, and then the, the omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. Uh, so we think that uh, within that market, I think that kids berry could be very healthy. Because the only way inside of the fish species is that the aquatic species is the mm -hmm. And as well, um, inside of a vegetable, it's the only way to get uh, these so many good things. Just an idea, did you a new variety? Yeah, so, so we will. That's, so the indoor plant will be different than the outdoor plant. You can raise that, right? So nobody else can. Yeah, so, so you can patent a species. Mm -hmm. uh, so the patent, and I, I've been speaking with the patent officer and things like that. So um, the process can be patented in which you grow them. The berry itself can be patented. Um, there's potential for crossbreeding within the species. It's deciduous, uh, meaning that uh, there's male and female plants. So again, there's even more uh, opportunity for to create a special piece of the cake. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.